Thatcher. Well, I want to start by sending my deepest condolences to Lady Thatcher's family, in particular Mark and Carol Thatcher, who have lost their mother, and indeed to her whole family. She was a unique political figure. She defined the politics of a whole generation. She was Britain's first woman prime minister. She won three general elections, and she was a huge, towering figure uh, on the world stage. Now, now, of course, she was controversial. Uh, we disagreed with much of what she did as a Labour Party, but we can disagree and also hugely respect her extraordinary achievements and her extraordinary personal strength. And when I think about it, David Cameron, Nick Clegg and myself were all shaped in a way by uh, the politics of Lady Thatcher and the way she defined the politics, particularly of the 1980s. I also have to say I thought she coped with her final years, which were obviously very, very difficult years, with the utmost courage uh, and dignity. I, I think critics and supporters will remember her in her prime, but in those years when her health was failing, she showed extraordinary fortitude, I believe. For a whole generation of Labour supporters, Margaret Thatcher was not just a divisive figure, she was a hate figure. And there may be people in the Labour Party who reflect those views today and in the days ahead. What would you say to them? Of course, Lady Thatcher stirs up deep feelings among people, particularly in the Labour Party. But I think now is not the time for party politics. We've suspended our political campaigning as a mark of respect uh, for Lady Thatcher. And I think that this time is a time to remember uh, what she actually achieved as a person. Because I think, you know, you can dislike her or you can like her, but whatever view you take, she was clearly an extraordinary politician and a, a unique political figure. And I think uh, particularly, you know, in, in the circumstances we're in, uh, with news of her death just coming through, I think now is the time to show uh, respect, whatever the strong feelings are that are aroused. You acknowledge her personal achievements. Are there Margaret Thatcher policies that you personally and the Labour Party once violently objected to, which you would now acknowledge were, were probably I right? Think Tony Blair has said that some of the things that Margaret Thatcher uh, did were retained by the last Labour government. But I disagreed with lots of what she did. Uh, but as I say, I think actually today is not the time to be talking about disagreements. She is a controversial figure, but today is the day to be remembering somebody who's passed away, uh, somebody who was an extraordinary strong political figure, uh, an extraordinary figure who shaped British politics, and, and, and that's what today is about. And also our thoughts being with her family, who will be having deep sadness at this time. Can you acknowledge that the, some of the things that you did agree with on, are there, are there subjects that you would be prepared to talk about now as being Thatcher policies, which are now I, mainstream? I, I don't, I look, those debates can happen in the weeks and months ahead, but that's, that, that's not for today. Today's the day to be remembering somebody who's died uh, and somebody who was a great political figure uh, of Britain, whatever the disagreements there were with her. I wasn't shedding tears.